Hey guys, DM Cubing, and today I present my GTS 2M on the road to perfection, part two. Hey guys, since the last time we met about this cube, I had 10 prototypes out of the way, trying various magnets, and at the end of, of around the 10th prototype, I really settled on the N48 5mm by 1mm magnet, that being available from Apex Magnets, and I believe that's what the cubicle uses in their GTS-2M as well. Well, since then, I mean, that was back in June of 2017, here we are in January of 2018, I've done 11 more cubes trying other magnets. So number 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17 all use the great N48 five by one magnet available from Apex Magnets. A lot of these cubes went to friends of mine, to some testers that I have out there, and to winners of my giveaways. At the time, I had not received my N42 magnets from Goss Boys. So since then, like I said, I've made a few more prototypes. So the first prototype to use N42 five millimeter by one millimeter magnets was GTS-2M number 18. I noticed immediately this gives just the most perfect feel to me that I have in any cube. That's compared to my GAN, uh, the Air SM or any cube that I've magnetized for some reason, the N42 five by one just feels perfect for me. Now, everybody has various, you know, preferences of what we like and, and what we prefer in a cube. But I think the N42 five by one gives like the perfect subtle feeling. It's not weak and it's not overly strong. It You feel the magnet, but then it's not too clicky. It's like just a perfect medium subtle magnet. So for cubes number 18, 19, in 20, I used the N42 5 by one To me, it's the perfect magnet for this cube. It's my favorite, and I think it's the ideal magnet. If you're preferring a subtle but not overly subtle or not overly strong magnet, I think it's perfect. Now, since then, just a couple of days ago on cube number 21, I wanted to try mixing things up a little bit, like putting N42 5 by ones mixed with N35. Now, my 10th GTS-2M used all N35 5 by ones and those were extremely subtle. They're almost, you almost can't feel them. They're there, but you just don't feel them. But I thought, well, how about stepping up that strength just a tad? And we can do that when we mix magnets. So if I mix an N42 5 by one with an N35 5 by one we're going to kind of give an, get an average of both. So I thought on, on prototype number 21, that's what I would do. I think it's great for people that want a subtle feeling that really don't want to feel magnets, but just a, a slight hint of a magnet, the N42 five by one in the edges mixed with N35 five by one in the corners is perfect. And to me, it gives a, a similar feeling of the factory uh, magnetized Vault Power M. It's that kind of feeling. If you've tried that cube, then you know it's subtle. The magnets do impart their properties onto aligning the cube, but you don't really get any stopping action. You don't really get much bump or click. Some people like that. It's it's subtle. Personally, I would not go any weaker than this. Like the N35 five by ones throughout the entire cube. No, that's just you're almost you you you'd end up having a magnetized cube that doesn't even feel like it's magnetized. So, for people wanting a real subtle feeling and still having a slight, you know, magnetic feel, I would suggest mixing the N42 five by ones with the N35 five by ones. And you do it by magnetizing one group of QB pieces with one magnet, and then the other group of QB pieces, like say for instance, the first group we magnetize are the edge pieces, and then the second group we magnetize are the corner pieces. So you put, you know, all the 42s in the edge pieces, all the 35s in the corners. So that's how we do it. Anyway, that gave, that gave a real nice subtle feeling. I would not go any weaker than that. 
But overall, my favorite magnet in my favorite cube of anything I've ever tried or magnetized, again, is the N42 5x1, and I get those at Goss Boys. So I just thought I'd update this. Hope everybody's doing well. I'm snowed in. What is this? This is We're going on three days of snow here in northwest Louisiana. Very uncommon. It's it's weird. The roads are closed. I'm, I'm off work. Schools are out. So and maybe we'll have a snow day tomorrow, too. So, okay, guys. Hope this helps. We'll see you the next time. Happy cubing, everybody. Stay warm and all that stuff, unless you're in Australia, and then it's summertime there. But everywhere else, it seems to be snowy winter. Talk to you later. Happy cubing. Bye.